All right, what's going on guys? How are we doing? Welcome back to Billy Four Rocks. I have got a new bag. I know, another one. But this one's a little bit different. It's a camera bag because you know, last week you saw the video of my new AED, which you're looking at me on now. Um, I had it in my old rucksack and I was riding around on the bike and I could hear it clanging against the tripod. And I'm thinking, I must be out of my mind. I've got a thousand pound camera bashing against other stuff. Uh, I need to get a proper camera bag. So let's have a look. guys let's have a proper close look at this bag it is an absolute beauty the name of it is the low pro pro tactic 450 aw nice vented back keep you nice and cool straps come with buckle attachments and also a chest harness if you want to use that sort of thing also comes with a lower back harness as well which slips underneath this little patch here and it just velcros in it's super secure and on the side of that is you get these little pockets that you can stick anything in lens cap covers cleaning cloths anything that comes in handy when you need it so that's the back let's have a look at the front so you notice along the whole front of this thing you've got these like straps are like mole straps and low pro actually supply you with uh different size bags there's three in total we've got a large one here which you could use for a uh a canteen or something like that i what i do is i put my base of my tripod in there just for extra security and they also supply with these straps as well so you just strap these anywhere you want i stick my tripod in there strap it in tighten it up and then you're off so these straps run all along the side here, you can see them, you can attach anything to these. So, ease of access, what's it like? Well, let's have a look at this side pouch. Got a nice little side pouch there, cushion flapping it with a little spring bag in there, you can put anything in there. Another little one on the side, this actually grants you access to the inside of the bag. So, like I showed you a second ago, you could just swing this around, open it up, pull out your camera, job done. And there's one on the other side as well. Access to the inside of the bag, pull out whatever you want without taking the rucksack off. So, the thing with this bag is you can only access the internal part of it, the main sort of cabin bit if you like, by the back now you notice these two two uh, zips at the top here big chunky rubber loops easy to grab onto you know you don't even have to look for them one one of them down the side there's the other one there and there's the inside of the bag so basically you can configure this bag any way you want i use my dslr camera and I put it in there, I've got a spare lens there, but I've also got LED lighting, should I need it? I've got spare cables, mini tripods, SD card transfer cables, a charger, uh, plug for the LED lighting. And then the top bit here, you've got another nice compartment, spare batteries, it also comes with 
spare dividers should you want to make up a smaller little apartment on the top there like that in there two small pockets at the front and at the top of the bag you've got a nice large section for a laptop or a couple of iPads chuck that in there and that's the good thing about this bag the opening to it sits on your back so essentially no one can get to it when it's on your back no one can unzip it without you knowing um, so yeah it's a lovely little bag and it looks mean it doesn't scream you know I've got expensive camera gear in here um, obviously apart from when you've got a tripod on the side it's uh, that kind of advertises it but other than that it's a really lovely bag all right and a nice little cool feature about this bag just flip it over in the back here you've got yourself an instant rain cover which is always attached to the bag you never lose it how good is that it's got a nice reflective material as well so yeah very nice All right, so that's just a quick little uh, look at the new bag there. And one thing I forgot to mention is, um, let me just do this up. On the top of this bag is another way to access it as well. But the difference is, other than the side bits, this has got a hard shell on it. So this is the only area that's got a hard shell. And you can also, if you wanted to so some people do this with this bag they stick their camera in the top there and bang it's easily accessible and away you go but uh, it kind of defies the security aspect of it where I don't mind taking it off if I've got to get my camera out if it means it's still gonna be there when I do take it off you know so yeah well all I've got in there is a little mini tripod couple of little cables other little bag there and there's just a little zippy pocket in there you can put whatever you want in there and a little pocket for uh, memory cards. All right, that is it, I think we're done. Um, what have I got to tell you? Oh yeah, I've got an email from um, Four Motorbikes and they said the stock is in. Uh, it should be with me sort of midweek or late week, uh, late in the week next week. And uh, I'm very excited to show you that. So that's coming up. Uh, I've got a camping trip next Saturday uh, so I'll get a bit of footage of that for you, some pictures up on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to take the helmet, hopefully it comes before Saturday, I'm sure it will do. Um, and uh, I want to do a nice 170 mile round trip to Folkestone and back, just to get a good idea of how the vents feel, how the liner feels, all that sort of stuff, so I can give you a proper verdict of what the helmet is like. Alright, that is it, we are done. See you next week, take it easy, see you soon. Bye!